Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. That would be... Actually, that would work out alright. So we'll put the storage in just here. We'll, we'll have this little gap right here. That's where we'll, we'll put in the storage. I'll move it over this way sort of reasonably well. There, like that. That's how we'll do this. And one there, and then we can just pop in the last couple there. Excellent. Now we go over here, and we have one output from there into the middle of that tank. So I've now got concrete going in. I've got stone going in onto the belt down here. I've got in there... Got the stone, I got the water, I'm just waiting on sand to come up through, and there's more stone. It's going to take a minute or two for the sand to get up here, and then we'll start getting the concrete. So the next up is, I'm going to need bricks. The bricks are... That's a good question, where are the bricks? Uh, over here, right. We've got bricks right there. Now, I can have those brought back, or I can belt them back. I think I'd like to try and belt those back. I'm already flying stone and that over, and that's going to take a minute. Plus, whenever I do a load of building work, it's going to sort of flood everything, so the bricks, are, it, it's going to be a bit of a nuisance. I do have a load of bricks there that go round all the building blocks, and so I'm already using these a lot, which makes me actually want to change these furnaces over so that we can do this a bit faster so that I've got more. I mean, at the moment, I don't have loads, but I am going to want more of them. I've got all of these stone bricks going through. Hmm. Trying to think what about I think yeah, if we upgrade to steel furnaces, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got twenty. So I'm gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, like that, crafting speed two, crafting speed one. So that is gonna double up the speed that I can craft all of these bricks. I'll run down through there and I do the same. That's just giving me the components for them, rather than actually doing anything different. Okay, that's good. And then I want to get the actual stone bricks coming through. Now, the stone bricks, in theory, I've got them going through all of the components, because each of these blocks takes stone bricks. Every single one of them has used stone bricks. I've got stone bricks that have gone up to that one. Actually, this one might be the one, because I take the electronic blocks, they go up through there, and then they get to this point, where they get taken off there. So, if I was to split off just there, that that's perfect. I've got the belt here already, so all I need to do is I need to put that one down there like that, and then add a filter onto this one, which is the stone bricks. They're not in there. They're under resource refining, I think. Yeah, there we go. Stone bricks. Add that one into there. I don't want to output them there. That's got to be output on the right. Like that. So then my stone bricks will come over to here. And I can load those up. So let's run back down here and allow these stone bricks to go through. Now, I've got the electronic blocks going through. I mean, at the moment, they're not. And we will just back through and see... Oh, there we go. It's because they're being used in the manufacturing of these and the manufacturing of a few other components. So it's taking them a minute to get through. Let's just actually back up the line a bit for these electronic blocks and see exactly why we're having so much trouble. Why are we having so much trouble?
no real reason that I can see. I've got all of the ingredients coming in. Why aren't you doing anything? They're not running. That's weird. I've got the belt coming out, yeah. Now he's running. Why is... Why aren't they running? Oh! It's the other ingredient. It's these. This is what... And it's because I haven't got these. The, the grey circuit boards. The grey circuit boards is what's caused it. They're coming over here. These bad boys right here. Those three. That's that's what's causing the hold up. And that's down to the copper wire thing again. Right, okay. So long as I know what the issue is, and I know that's an issue that we've had for a while, it's not one that I'm going to correct at the moment. So alien plant life sample are required for everything on that top row now. We can't do anything with those, so we will work over here. Geode processing. Start research on that one. And you... No longer going to have an output priority, and you're going to run up here to this new bit that I've gone and put in. Let's just make sure that that does work properly. There we go, and yes. Okay, that's good. So then, I'm going to need a belt, and this belt is only going to go into this area here, so I really don't have very far to take this material at all, which is fantastic. Which means that I can just put an underground belt. Uh, I'm going to put it there, right next to this other belt. And then I'll bring that one up there like that. And I think we will go up like this. That one's going to come out over there like that. And then I'll run back down here and just put in the rest of the belt down this side. So that goes in there. Sends it on through. That goes up through and then up to this point. So now I need some more factories. And I need to actually start making these. So this, all it's actually going to take is the four stone bricks and some concrete. So if I set you up here... Actually, I think I'm going to want to set it up higher than that. I'm going to go up by one, because we're going to have a pipe in feed as well. So I think we're going to want to go about here. That's 10. 11 and 12. I think I make an absolute boatload of concrete. So if we craft in here... I use 40 concrete to make four concrete bricks. Uh, the concrete right there, one load, makes 120 concrete. So I could... In th oh, wait. What was the timings on them? That's, that's the other important thing. This is uh, 5.3 seconds. Time to craft in a steam-powered assembly machine, two. 5.3 in that building. 3.2. Let's check the blue one. So it's two in that one, in the blue one. And then, to craft this, it's two in that one. So, yeah, I could, in theory, I don't need anywhere near that many there. But I'm likely to want to use a huge quantity of concrete for other things later on. So, I'll just leave it as it is. It means that I want concrete next. And I'm going to have the infeed pipe at the bottom. Fortunately, it won't repeat it. So, I've, I am going to have to actually rotate each of these round which is a bit of a nuisance but it's not like it's the end of the world is it okay so we can run along here like this put all of those in have I really only got 20 pipes left let's go to my um have I got one closer 
I got the supply chest at the top, but where have I got pipes? I'm sure I had pipes being made around here somewhere. Any idea where I got the pipes? I'm looking down here. See anything? It's iron down there. It's further south, I think. All right, let's go up this way and we'll go. I know that there's a delivery chest up here and it's not actually that far away. So if I go to that one, at least I know for certain that I've got stuff here. And I can get one, two lots of those. So I'm actually going to change that so that I've got uh, 600 pipes coming in like that. There. Get us a few more because I'm going to need more than that anyway. So we'll run down here now and then head on over this way. Through here. I've got the green electronics ones. I'm not going to be doing a lot for a while now because I don't have the regular electronics blocks coming up through. That's taking a minute to get there. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but there's nothing we can do about that. So next along here, I'm going to want to do a... I don't know which way I want to... I'm going to put them out this side. I'm going to put them out along there and then I'm going to have a chest. It's going to be one of these... Ooh, no, I actually want a lot of this stuff, thinking about it. So we'll put a warehouse in. We will have a warehouse full of concrete blocks. That one down, bring it down by one more, and I'll go like that. And then I will have a passive provider chest off the side of that one. That one's going to go there, and then I will put in one of those. And I'll put in another one over there. We will go with power and power down there like that. I've got another one of these. I can start researching resin one. Liquid resin from urea gas and formaldehyde and also resin from liquid resin. Right, well, that's a fairly simple one. Let's start that research. I'm going to need to do something about the whole copper situation that we've got in order to increase the number of electronics that is being made. That's going to be quite important, I think. So I want two of those right there. And I want one, two, three, four, five of those right there. Just because. Because overkill is fun. That's why. And... I need more fast inserters, so I'll go back up here. I wonder if the pipes are back here yet. I've got 220 at the moment. They haven't brought them up. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I've got a whole load of those. I need a couple more stacks of these. Right. So we can put the outfeeds along on here. One, two, three. Oops, not there. Let's go like this. I'm going to need to set up gold production before too long as well. That's going to be another big task to go and do. So this one here is in the wrong place. They need to be here. It's the belt that's got to be out by one, not these. Go along like that. Up to there. And then these... I want them to pick up and drop off. What? Why can't I see it? What did I do there? Ah, if you press Shift and E, it gets rid of that screen. I was pressing and holding Shift. I didn't actually mean to, but yeah, it gets rid of the screen. Uh, right, so I want to copy that one. Paste into these. So yeah, I didn't know that pressing Shift and E together would get rid of that screen. Now I do. And I run all the way down to that point right there. And then we can start putting in some power on these. Every other one. Like that. And over to there, and then we'll start also putting power in here. Like this. Uh, to there. Then, finally, I want to put that pipe there, and that pipe will go all the way underneath 
Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to move it one further up. So at the moment, I've got 8.7 thousand concrete in there. I've got 12,000 in there. If I click on here, we've got 88,000 in the whole fluid system for concrete, which is pretty awesome, actually. And then I'll put that in. And now I'm making concrete bricks. Look at that. Okay, that's fantastic. And they make... Uh, four concrete bricks at the same time. So now I've got a load of concrete bricks going into there and we'll be able to use those for the next components. So the next components that we actually want to start making are all of these down through here. So that is enhancements. We've got the electronics block three now. That one's being made. The mechanical block two. Am I making that one? We've got mechanical block one, fluid block two, and mechanical block two. Didn't I start doing those? Sure, I started making them somewhere. What have I got down here? That's something. There's frameworks and electronic blocks. I got these. I got construction blocks. I got those being made. Construction block three, but fluid box two and mechanical block two. Am I making those? I've got components here. That's some of these. That makes the construction blocks. Doing the electronics ones. I don't think I am. Mechanical 2 and Fluid Box 2. Yes, I need them. Not for that one. Construction Block 2 I need. Oh, that's that one. Huh. You know, I thought I would have been making those. Why am I not? I, I'm going to need them. Right, mechanical block two. Right there, I need number one and mechanical parts, interestingly. And then we also want the fluid block. And that needs construction frames, which we got here. This is construction frames, which we got here. And then the fluid box and iron pipes. That's mechanical block. Okay, we'll come We'll wander down there and we will start making those next so that we've got all the necessary different components. I want to go back into my research. This is Rocket Booster. I don't even know what that would be used for. Probably for rocketry. Yeah, clue, clue is in the name right there. The clue is in the name. Uh, steel filtering furnace, fluid burning. We've got vehicle robots. We've got mining productivity. Mining productivity plus 10%. We get more coming out of the ground for the same cost. Let's do that one. I vote we do that one. That, that one's a good one to do. We've got various different advanced smeltings going on over here. We'll get to those. It's this one that we're going to want to do. We want to make blue science. Right, I want to make blue science, and I also want to make all of these different types of blocks right here, which is going to take a bit to do. Just going to have a look at Angel's Tech. So I can make a production data course, though that's, yeah, that's, that's just stuff that we've already got. It's blue science. I need blue circuits, orange science, analyzer, harmonics analyzer. Silver plate, aluminium plate, that's easy enough. But yeah, that one, the blue science, blue circuits. Angels blocks, angels components. I've got all of these. I've got pretty much most of these. I'm still working on the aluminium stuff, but we are going to have to start working on this, which is glass fiber liquid resin, gilded copper wire, blue boards, cupric chloride solution. It's easy enough. 
uh, solder, blue circuit boards, resistor, capacitor, microchip, the transformer. The transformer is the gilded copper wire. So there's where we need the gold. And then we're going to start needing some of this titanium stuff down through here, which means we're going to start manufacturing some titanium. Shouldn't be too difficult. But anyway, let's go and start now on making these blocks. So we've got most of these and then we do want to go and make all of these bits here So we need electronics block level three and an enhancement block two. This one is energy block two and All of them require concrete bricks every single one is going to require concrete bricks to make that's fine We can work on that as uh, so it's just these two components that I want to get. The fluid box and the mechanical block level. Both of them level two. So if I go and do that bit next, we've then sort of got everything I think that we're going to need to make up the rest of the level three items before we have to start moving on to the following level. So what have I got up here? You are making construction block two. And I want to start making... Right, you're making those. I've got electronics block three elsewhere and electronics block two. It's a mechanical block. So the, the level three ones we're doing, that was this over here. And that's them right there. I've got 3,400 of those already. Which is actually really good. The green ones, yeah, they're, they're gone. These are all backed up. Every single one of these is backed up. Which is just awesome. That's fantastic. We're going to be using these in our next sort of round of production anyway. I've got to make all of the components, but we will do something similar to what we've done here. We'll make this exact same design. I'm going to... Hmm. Well, I was thinking I would put it here. This is kind of like in the way of our gases and liquids. Like, we've got room to put it here, so it's not too far away from that one, because each of these is a component in the next lot. That's why I kind of want to do it like that. Either there or over here. Like, I've got a big area here now. We filled all of this out. And if I click on, if you know, if I mouse over that, see, we everything's covered. Let's go logistics network. Yeah, we can see. So we've, we've got full coverage over there now. I do want to kind of join that together. But coverage right across the board. This This is brilliant. Which means that I can use this area in here to do this. If I was to put that in there. And it's not a long flight either. From here, it's just across that bit. And then I can set those up here. And they're also closer then to the various components that I'm going to start wanting. You know, bits of silver and some of these over here. So that's probably better in the long run. Let's get rid of these trees here. They're going to cause me some problems. So we'll ditch that lot. And then we'll come out of there. So first up, though, I want to get these construction blocks and fluid boxes made. So I want to have a look in here. I've got gears and I had mechanical parts. I've got those. Mechanical block level one, construction block level one. It's the fluid boxes. I'm pretty sure I have fluid boxes somewhere. Fluid box level one right there at 7,400. Okay, so I've got the components. Iron pipe. Do I have... Uh, the construction frames... I've got these right here. We've got masses and masses of these. So we can actually... I can just bring those down. I've got a double line of them in here. That, that's fine. I can make use of them. And then we've got the other bits. They come down. And then we go in here to make construction block level 3. So it's that lot right there. I could do with that running a bit faster. What's the problem over here? They're just going to that bit. It is partly down to a lack of steel that's coming through. Like, I mean, I've got those. So this one, 
This one could just do with being a bit faster, really. So that is 0.75 right there. If I go and have one of these bad boys, which runs at 1.25, that's 66% faster. Lock that one in there. Aha! Right, that should help things along a little bit with that one. And then I want to go and take that line and bring it... You know, I don't even need to do that. I can just put the thing... Mm. Thinking about it, I might actually need to. Iron pipes. Uh, uh, let me just check for iron pipes in here. We, we can search, and then if I go pipe... I've got copper pipes, but I don't have iron pipe being made. Or if I... Do I actually? I'm, I'm sure I've got the iron pipes being made because I got the fluid boxes being made. That would be over here somewhere. There. So they're being made there and they're being fed direct into here. I don't have them going into any kind of chest or anything. Fluid boxes here and I've got these plain ones over here. We need to get back up to that bit and run a couple of small upgrades so that then we can start bringing materials off of that to elsewhere in the system. I have a load of construction frame level 1 being made here. I've got construction frame level, t uh, level 1 being made just there. So these are being pulled in. We've got the iron coming through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some upgrades... On that one, that one, and that one. So they run a whole lot faster than they are now. That one as well. So that is going to go way faster. And that's going to start dumping in more fluid boxes. Because we could do with having those properly pushed in. These are going to run a bit faster as well. Which is going to help the situation. I don't know if I've got any more of those being made. I haven't. That should be alright. At least I hope we will. And then I've got the iron pipes right here. Now I'm going to increase that one. Like that, so they're being made a whole lot faster. Pushing those through as fast as I need them. And it's actually stopping and waiting. Don't have a problem there. So what I want to do next is I actually want to make a couple more chests. So we want to go to Angel's Logistics right here. I've got personal roboport, robot control. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we need to start making these. I need these robots. There's some of the other things I need as well. Big passive provider chests like that. We've got mining productivity has increased. Fantastic. I can't do that one yet. Mining productivity level 1. And then we'll go over here with this one and start researching rocket boosters. So what I want to do is I want to put the chest right there that is busy making. There we go. I'm going to put that one down there like that. And then I want to have one of these. I'm going to put it in there. You are going to have a long drop off and a long pick up like that. And you're going to start dumping pipes in here. So we've got some... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.